All right, baseball season is over. Well, it's not really over, but the Yankees are out of it. So to me, baseball season is over. And for most Yankee fans, baseball season is over. So what do we do now? It's time to put on our de facto GM hat, okay? And start to talk about what we're gonna do in the off season to get ready for 2020. Um, so I wanna write, I wanna talk about my list of what I think they should do and what I think they will actually do. And I welcome your feedback, so please drop lots of comments. Let's all be our de facto GMs here. Click the subscribe button. This is a new channel. I'm going to be putting Yankee content on a regular basis, so click that subscribe button. And click the bell next to it so you know when I put out Yankee content so we can have discussions. Because you, you and I both know as Yankee fans, we're kind of assistant GMs to Cashman all year round anyway. We're always thinking of ways to make our team better. And it's not we, we don't hate other teams. We just love our team. Okay, so let me go over what I think they should do. Obviously, buyout Encarnacion. He has an option or a buyout. I think the option is $20 million, The buyout is $5 million, so we're going to buy him out. <clears throat> Secondly, I think they should either re-sign Cameron Mabin or we'll give Mike Taufman a chance to be the fourth outfielder. Okay, um, and I also think that they should give Clint Frazier a shot to be the left fielder, okay? Um, he's a good contact hitter, okay? He's not, we're, we're, we're too reliant on the long ball, as you can, as, as you, most of you folks know. So we need guys that are contact hitters. And Clint Frazier has, is, is he, his fielding will get better just like Andujar's fielding will get better. They're both young kids, but they both tear the cover off the ball, and that's what they're known for. Um, but he's a good contact hitter. Singles, doubles, both of them, they remind me of Alex Bregman and, and George Springer from the Astros. Okay, they're both really good contact hitters who can hit the long ball too. Um, but we have the sluggers. We don't need more sluggers. Okay, they're obviously not at the level of Bregman and um, Springer yet, but they're the type of players that remind me of them. They do. They have the same skill set. Skill set. Okay, so they're good contact hitters, and I think it would be it would be we had to decide what to do with Frazier. I mean, we traded Andrew Miller for him. You know, so are we going to play him or not? Okay. So I think Frazier and Mabin, who's another good contact hitter, he was really good with us for the half a year, or Talkman, who's another good contact hitter, plus he's a lefty, so he kind of balances, helps balance the lineup out. Um, so those are the two outfield options I think we should have. <clears throat> I think we should let Didi walk. I, I love Didi, but I think there's going to be a market for him. Um, whether it could be the Mets or somebody else, so I think it would be good to extend, attend them. Uh, if we if we notice a market, it'd be good to tender a qualifying offer. Now, if he accepts the qualifying offer, it's not the end of the world that he stays with us for another year. But I don't think he will. If he has a market, I think he'll sign somewhere else for two, three, or four years. He's young enough to get that kind of deal, and he's good enough. And if he declines the qualifying offer and signs somewhere else, we get a draft pick, a high draft pick. So either way, the option's pretty good. Um, I think they should transition Andujar over to first base. He can replace Encarnacion's production. Um, he makes the league minimum. Plus, it also allows DJ um, to go to second. It allows Glaber to go to short. It allows Gio to go to third. Gio's a much better defender at third than Andujar was. And I think Andujar, we won't need as much of the defense at first base. He can catch the ball being thrown to him better than he can catch it being hit to him. Okay, um, plus again he'll replace Encarnacion's offense. And we'll have a pretty really we'll have a really good infield if we get him if we give him a shot to do that. Pitching obviously, I think they should sign Garrett Cole. It's going to cost. He's going to make the biggest contract ever for pitchers. He's probably going to make two hundred forty million dollars, but I think they should sign him. All right, or if they can't, because <clears throat> I do, my guts also tell me that he's probably going to sign on the West Coast with either the Angels or the Padres, but. If he does, then I think we should, if Steven Strasburg opts out, I think we should go offer Strasburg a contract and sign Strasburg and another starter, maybe Zach Wheeler. You could, we could probably get Strasburg and Wheeler for the same price that Garrett Cole would cost by himself. So just keep in mind, two workhorse pitchers is better than one. Even though Cole's an ace, um, you know, Strasburg is pretty much 1A, uh, 1B. So, um, and again... Two pitchers for the price of one is a pretty good deal if that happens, if we can do that. I think we should let Tyler Wade be the backup infielder. He's young. He's lefty. 
okay? And uh, he's fast. Plus, he's another good contact hitter. And I like the fact that if we have a, a backup infielder and a backup outfielder that are both lefty, um, I think we, you know, it helps balance out the lineup. Balance, balance out the lineup, okay? Makes Stanton the full-time DH. He cannot play in the field. Okay, he's not very good in the field, plus he gets hurt. So we just need to keep him at the DH. Um, I think we need to figure out our backup catcher position because Austin Romine's a free agent. So we got to figure out what to do there. We'll either re-sign him or, re or somebody else. Um, I think we need to sign a lefty reliever. Maybe Will Smith's available from the Giants. He's only 30 years old. He's probably going to cost a three-year deal, maybe $10 million per year, but he's worth it. Another good, uh, another good reliever, especially if Chapman opts out. Um, which I think he will. Um, and I actually skipped that up here. I would let Chapman walk if he opts out. If he opts out, tender him a qualifying offer. He'll definitely get more than a qualifying offer. He'll get a three or four year deal somewhere. He's still young. And that'd be another draft pick. I think the likeliness of, t of Chapman opting out um, and getting a, a draft pick for him is higher than letting tendering a qualifying offer for Didi and getting a pick. No, but at the very least, we might get, we'd likely get one high draft pick, okay? And we signed this lefty reliever to replace Chapman uh, to go along with Britain and Adovino. And the fact that if we have two additional workhorse starters, and I like two because I'm not really sure what we're going to do with Domingo German. He may not come back. They might trade him. They might release him after what he did. Who knows? So if we can get two that can actually get past the fourth and fifth inning, um, it would give our bullpen a break. And our bullpen, I think we're pretty tired at the end of the year this year. So we need some workhorse starters that will lighten the load on the bullpen. Okay. I would have tried our best to extend Judge after this year. He goes to arbitration and he starts to become really expensive. Okay, um, And I would also try to extend DJ LeMahieu as well. He said he was open to staying here. So if we can give him another two years on top of the year he has, $30 million, $32 million, whatever, I think it would be money well spent. He was. He reminded me of our Scott Brocious. <laughs> he was um, really good. He was our best player this year. So, and uh, love the guy. The fans love him. The, the teammates love him. So, if we can extend both of those guys, it'd be really key. Now, what I actually think they're going to do um, is a little different. Um, I think they're going to re-sign Brett Gardner now that Aaron Hicks is out. Um, and I love Gardner. I do. I, I. I would say thank you and let him walk and. Let Talkman uh, take over and Maven as the, as the other option as well, but that doesn't mean I don't I don't love Gardner because I do. He he was he's been great for the Yankees, so I think they're going to re-sign him for a year with Hicks being out for most of the year to play center, and then I think that they'll probably re-sign Maven for left field or give Talkman a shot or somebody else to play left field. Um, I do think they're going to either trade Clint Frazier or Andujar or both in a deal for a pitcher, a starter. Not an ace, but maybe a two or a three. I don't really know. Maybe a Michael Fulmer or a Robbie Ray. Personally, I don't think it's worth it, but I have a feeling that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to sign Zach Wheeler one way or the other. Maybe a four-year deal. Probably going to run about $70 million. Um, I think they're going to sign Will Smith, the guy that I think they should do. Sign. I think they'll give him a three-year deal. Probably for $30 million. Um, I think they'll re-sign Dylan Betances uh, on a modest two- or three-year contract. Well, I'd be surprised if he walks, but you never know. Um, I do think they'll re-sign him and, and sign Will Smith. I think they're going to sign either Martin Maldonado or Francisco Cervelli to back up um, Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez is great, but as we know, he gets hurt. And uh, we need to give him 20 or 30 games. Um, at DH, potentially even more than that, and give Stanton probably 20, 30 days off or games off. If we can get 135 games, 130 games out of Stanton, we'll get good production out of him. And if we can give Stan, uh, Sanchez an opportunity to play DH those games, we'll get more production out of him and be able to keep him a little bit healthier. Okay, I think they will extend Judge. Um, I think they're going to probably play Mike Voigt, uh, Lou Voigt at first base if Andrew Hart gets traded. Um, that's my gut. And I think they're going to release or trade Greg Bird. Um, I'm not going to get much for him, but I think it's a uh, change of scenery would be good for him. And uh, so this is what my thoughts of what they should do, what my thoughts of what they will do. Put your GM hat on. Drop some comments down below. Let's have some dialogue here. I want to know your feedback. 
Um, you, you never know. <clears throat> um, I really, I'm really, i really interested in hearing what everybody else has to say. Us diehard Yankee fans have to stick together. And again, click the subscribe button. This is my first video. I'm going to be sending out videos every week on Yankees. Even updated stuff like this. Uh, videos, players, all kinds of different things. So click the subscribe button. Click the bell next to it. Okay, so that you know anytime, every time I send out a video. Um, and then drop some comments. And if you like the content, obviously, you click the like button as well. All right, let's go Yankees. Let's have a great offseason. 2020 World Champs, baby.